everybody, MBG here today with a look at the newest White Dwarf. This is issue number 20, dated 14 June 2014. And uh, if you haven't seen the rumors for this week, there's actually some pretty cool stuff in here. We got a new plastic shock attack gun, along with some new uh, weapon platform gun emplacement cannon, fancy cannons. That's uh, it's a real thing. We'll talk about it. We'll, we'll get we'll get around to it, and uh, we'll get there. So I actually didn't pay attention to a lot of stuff this week. So I was uh, very pleasantly surprised with uh, with the stuff that's in this white dwarf, and it seems like we're moving a lot closer to possibly the plastic mega knobs we've already seen slash the orc codex next week because that would just be really sweet. Let's just uh, let's just stop with the foreplay, GW. Let's just get it done. We know it's coming. Just give it to us, please. Because uh, I want it. <laughs> I want it now. Alright, so here's the contents for this book. It's not quite as crazy, super orky as uh, the first issue of the month, which was was really neat how they kind of took over the Codex for uh, for a brief period, or the, took over the White Dwarf for a brief period of time. But nonetheless, it's a, it's a good issue. Uh, it's got a really good paint splatter article. It wasn't some like regurgitation like last week's. This one was pretty cool. They got the rules for the, for the mech guns, is what they're calling them now. They're not the big guns anymore. Um, because of course you can't copyright it. Sorry, calling it as I see it. Good on them, being smart about it. Uh, then it just kind of goes into like some some fluff things on the different things. Phil Kelly, of course, talks about orcs as one of his things, along with Tyranids and Eldar. Actually, yeah, I guess he, those are his big three. Um, then they got a, this sweet Codex collection, which I guess is basically mini rule books for all like ten current hardcover books, and also a mini rule book for seventh edition. So I guess that's the second way to get a mini rule book. Uh, personally, I would be a little apprehensive. I bought the collector's edition for 7th edition and my mini rulebook is literally falling apart. Uh, the binding is already gone and I've done nothing but just transport it in a bag and put it on the tabletop every now and then. So I'm a little upset about that. I will be calling Games Workshop customer service to see if there's something they can do about it. But I wouldn't go all in on uh, on this book collection quite yet because they, they might need to get some uh, some quality issues ironed out. So here's the mech gun that we were talking about. It's got, what, four different varieties, so to speak. And uh, they all look pretty cool. I like the new Gretchen. There's like six of them. Uh, very neat looking. You got a spotter. You got a dude with like two uh, drill kind of things. And then you got some guy dragging ammo. And then like a spool of cable or copper wire or whatever it is, the orcs. It's only, if you're an orc, it's only weird if it doesn't work, right? Because uh, they pretty much just kind of... Well, it's uh, clearly thunderstorming outside and uh, quite possibly right next to the door. So we're going to try to wrap this one up pretty quick. Uh, so here is some of the big guns here that's coming out new. And they're it's pretty amazing. You know, they keep upscaling them, upscaling them. I'm really hopeful. When I first saw this in the White Dwarf, I thought it was a buggy. But then once you see it, you know, you see, um, excuse me, they had it online. They had some uh, preview pictures of it on Games Workshop site. So I thought from a... From, um, far away it looked like a new buggy but it turns out it's not so I'm really hopeful that there, there will be a new buggy kit here is the big mech with shock attack gun it's really neat how like the feet for the little snotling are basically like kind of getting warped and sucked into this uh, vacuum system here to power this whole thing and now it looks like it's kind of like a robot arm that's attached to it and they kind of go over like how they made it and I mean it's just it's just amazing this thing like the stuff they can do with the computer computer designs and things just that these days it's just uh, it's just quite incredible so here's the here's the card cover set here because I mean let's be honest if this thing was like full size uh, you know 100 200 300 400 and who knows what's that would be like $500 so I'm sure it's not that much but um, you know just be just be careful with these things because my rule books uh, not doing so hot right now and I'm a little a little sad about it but that's okay we'll get we'll get through it so just skipping some of the obvious stuff here, they got a new Hall of Fame model, which was the Archeon uh, on mount. Um, there's cool stuff in here, but nothing, nothing to get too crazy about. Uh, Adam Torque talks about the orcs in general. Then we get to the paint splatter article, which are, is always a highlight for me. There was no screws and in, in, in glue this year, or this, this issue, but there was this one, and we got some new techniques on how to do yellow, some more green skin stuff, uh, some of the energy globes. Uh, the warping snot lane, which I, I think you could use this pattern here. Like, say you wanted to do like um, like a gene stealer infestation, or maybe like some sort of like dark chaos, chaos orcs, or something like that. You could definitely use this paint scheme because it it really lends nicely to that. Then you've got your canvas and some of your leather straps and things. 
So pretty cool stuff. Here's the actual rules for the mech guns. And we saw some rumors on this, I think about two weeks ago, on the tractor cannon. So obviously really good for Skyfire and other such things like that. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm liking this. I'm liking some of these. Uh, I'm not so sure on the heavy one, but it looks like you can take one ammo runt, which if it does the same thing as before, for three points you get to re-roll it. So you're looking at what? I don't know, five up re-roll with a re-roll? Ooh, they're Gretchen shooting these things. I forgot about that. A four up with a re-roll? I'll take that. Give it to me. 18 points. Uh, yes, please. Try to cannon. 12 points. So you're looking at 30. You can take a squad of three. Four. Wow. Four. Five. Four additional mech guns. Huh. That's, uh, that's quite interesting. I'm sure we'll see some crazy orc artillery batteries here in the near future. Because that's a squad of five. Hmm. There'll be lots to talk about here with that one. Desire Notes was pretty cool. Um, I guess basically the old ones were sculpted uh, by Seb Per. I'm bad with names, so I apologize. Um, but Edgar Ramos is taking that over, and I really like his design theory and all his Gretchen, uh, you know, his concept sketches and things like that. It really married a lot of the eclectic orc weaponry from Epic to kind of new scale or new, you know, gave it a new spin and kind of scaled it up. So I really like what they did here, and it's definitely going to probably get me back into orcs, you know, if we could see a codex anytime soon, right? <sighs> gamer problems so there it is uh, new issue I, I like picking it up if you're not into works you might not want to pick this one up but other than that it's, it's pretty dope I mean it's a it's a good read I'm a super fan I can't wait till the Warhammer Visions comes out next month because hopefully it'll have like all it works because let's be honest it's been like six years and I miss the orcs I hope other people out there miss them too so well that's all I got for this one guys uh, make sure you stay in the trenches, subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out the blog, spikingbitsblog.com, and listen to our podcast, forgenarrative.com.